Hello everyone, welcome back to Guarded Hearts in Christ. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing an update on what's going on in Xingqingji. So stay tuned. So guys, um, I was in a conversation with an ex-member of SCJ and the person was telling me about a new cult, a new church that is coming out of Xingqingji and that church is Seichanji. Really sounds similar. The only thing different is the first three letters. Seichanji also means the same thing. It means new heaven and new earth. And I try to do a little bit of research on Seichanji, but there is not a lot there are not a lot of information out there on this new group. Um actually there is really no information apart from the Reddit post that the person shared with me and somebody actually made a video but it's in a different language which I do not understand. Um but so far, the only thing I have is the Reddit post. Um, but if you're in Korea and this is happening, please let us know in the comments section below. But with that being said, um, let me switch to the slide here real quick. The title of this post is actually called um, so it begins cults creating more cults expect more of this as the end of manhe lee's life approaches so the two main things about this post is that the person shares a snapshot of what scj is telling their members educating their members on preventing them from being aware um preventing them of being aware of cults called Sei Chan Ji. And the person also further explains what Sei Chan Ji claims. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. So it says, for those who are out of the loop, a number of high-ranking individuals amongst many tribes were recently expelled from Xing Chan Ji in Korea. Xing Chan Ji claims that they created a sect called Sei Chan Ji which also means new heaven and new earth in Korean. Just like Manhe Lee claimed about the tabernac tabernacle temple, Sei Chen Ji claims that Manhe Lee is the messenger who prepares the way, not the messenger of the covenant. Then they also say Sei Chen Ji claims that Xing Chen Ji is the holy place not the most holy place. Sei Chen Ji claims that Manhe Li did not receive the full revelation from Jesus. And basically, that's what um, Manhe Li teaches, that people outside of SJ do not have the full revelation of G from Jesus, that he's the only one that has the full revelation who can clearly explain revelation or can clearly interpret revelation, which is not true, okay? Um... And also, certain G's interpretation of Revelation, whatever it may be, is not true. Um, I don't know what it is, but I know it's not true already, okay? Um, Shaken G claims that Manhe Lee betrayed and now all people need to be harvested from the field, which now includes Shaken G to the new Sei Chan G. So, again... That is what Ching Chen Ji teaches that everyone needs to be harvested from the field into Ching Chen Ji, and now Sei Chen Ji is saying that everyone needs to be harvested from the field into Sei Chen Ji, including Ching Chen Ji. So both Sei Chen Ji is and Ching Chen Ji are false on that. The only place you need to go to is Jesus. Then the person says, just like the Olive Tree movement fell apart and created a number of cults like Ching Chen Ji. Basically, Olive Tree movement, if some of you did not know. Um, is also a cult and has similar teachings. Um, I'll definitely need to do research on that. Gosh, there's a lot of things I need to research on. But Mani Lee came out of that. So um, with that being said, um, Xing Chinji is now falling apart. 
or will upon Manheli's death and will create new number of cults like Sage Chanji. When Manheli eventually dies, expect many, many cults to spring up from Shin Chunji's leaders who suddenly claim that Manheli betrayed and that they are now the new John who everyone must follow. Shin Chunji isn't anything special, it is just another participant in a long line of cults, which is true. So going on to the slide, okay. Xin Chenji, so this is the teachings of Xin Chenji, and this is their logo, so we know that it's come from Xin Chenji and it's true and it's not made up. But of course, if people from South Korea or people that know about this, if they're teaching this in your Bible study, Xin Chenji's Bible study, please let us know if this is true, okay? For those who are coming out, because I know those who are members will probably say, no, that's a lie. But yeah, so. So one of the deceptive doctrine is that Xin Chenji is a field, so one must be harvested into Sei Chenji. The world of Christianity where Jesus sowed the seed of the world 2,000 years ago is the field. The 12 tribes of Xin Chenji is not the harvest field, but the heavenly barn where the ripened wheat born of the seed Jesus sowed have been harvested. Making a separate name like Sei Chenji is to deceive people by using an expression similar to new heaven and new earth. So basically, what they're saying is that everyone in that is following Jesus, but it's outside of Xin Chenji is a field, and everyone needs to be harvested into Xin Chenji in order to be saved. Okay, and they're basically saying that anyone making a separate name, like Sei Chanji, are deceiving people. So the next slide on here says, Xin Chanji is the holy place. So Xin Chanji is not the holy place, but the most holy place. The temple of the, um, temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. It is the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony in Revelation 15, which was established after fighting and overcoming the group of the beast in Revelation 12. So, most holy place. So basically, Xin Chenji is saying that whatever Sei Chenji is saying that they're the that, that Xin Chenji is the holy place and Sei Chenji is the most holy place is false. Okay, next slide. It says Xin Chenji Church of Jesus. That is the claim that I, I guess Sei Chenji is making. Xin Chenji Church of Jesus is the first tabernacle on um, the seven golden lampstand tabernacle. First tabernacle is the place where the seven messengers were, which has already been destroyed and disappeared. Xin Chenji is the second tabernacle, temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. So, Xin Chenji is basically claiming that they are not the first tabernacle, that they are the second tabernacle and the last tabernacle, again, where everyone is to go to to be saved. Um, so it says, teacher chairman has not re even received 10% of revelation. You should come to a community where you can learn from me spiritual, s s learn from me spirituality lectures and the accurate revelation. Um, then Xin Chenji says, there is no other, there is no one other than the new testimony promised pastor New John in the global village who received and added the open revealed word and mastered it. So again, um, here Xin Chenji is saying that Manhe Li didn't receive the full revelation. So people need to go to Xin Chenji in order to get the full interpretation of revelation and to accurately understand revelation um accurately interpret revelation but uh, shinken is saying that no that is false um the man he and it's kind of funny how they didn't put the man he but i guess it doesn't matter because the man he is known as a promise pastor um so shinken is basically saying that 
we meant he is the only one who has to build the word, basically who knows how to interpret Revelation. Then the last slide is that those who, so basically they're trying to like, I guess, advise people on what to do. Um, if someone was to create a group or, you know, spread gossip that, you know, these kind of people should be reported. So those who disobey the hierarchy, criticize the leaders, criticize the leaders established according to order Guyok Chanin, spread gossip and cause trouble should be reported to the church head instructor. Organizing private meetings or creating your own telegram room under the pretext of evangelism without permission from the church is not permitted. Everything must be approved by the church and the department. So basically, they are being, how I say it, controlling of what people do. And one aspect, if I may say, was like, for example, the the person that introduced me to Xing Qingji, um, before, you know, we would hang out, we would meet up, right? On my part, you know, I thought, you know, we were friends, we were hanging out. But once I got into the church and I was like, oh, okay, let's hang out. She was like, oh, um, make sure you tell your teacher. And I was like, what? Why do I need to tell my teacher that we're hanging out? I mean, we're friends, right? Like, it didn't make sense to me. But she was like, oh, it's so that they can keep count of who they meet because of the COVID. They use the COVID situation as a cover-up. Um, but it's actually to keep watch of members and to control, you know, that false, like, information doesn't spread around and people are not leaving and forming groups, um, etc. My commentary on this is that um, I'm glad that this is happening because i'm not glad at you know people's downfall but i'm glad that this is a wake-up call for people to see that there is something wrong with xin chinji and also say chinji because if a group xin chinji te teaches that they are the only place of truth right why is there Another group coming out of Xinjiangji claiming the same thing, and they're now calling their promised pastor Li Manhe a betrayer or false, right? So I don't know. Um, seeing that, I don't think you know something is up, something is weird. You know, it's time to go. You know, I believe this is a wake up call for people in Xinjiangji, and you know. I feel like it's going to be really sad if CHNG was to grow from this. And I just want to say this. Like, normally, a church shouldn't be mad. CHNG shouldn't be mad at CHNG starting its own church, right? In fact, CHNG should celebrate CHNG. Um but they aren't why because they are being selfish and here's what i mean as a christian growing up i've been to many churches including startup churches and what i've seen so far is that the pastors that come out of a big church and start in a small church right is starting up a church the pastor of the mega church would go to the small the opening ceremony of the small church in order to pray and to bless and you know to celebrate the start of start of this new church okay and even if they do not go there um you just don't talk about the pastor leaving like an um, associate pastor is leaving the church right because that is not important what's important is Jesus, okay, following Jesus, not man. Okay. And in in First Corinthians 1 10 to 13, it says, I appeal to you, brothers, this is Paul speaking, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you, 
but that you be united in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarreling among you, my brothers. What I mean is that each one of you says, I follow Paul, or I follow Paulus, or I follow Cephas, or I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Then 1 Corinthians 3, 1 to 9 says, But I, brothers, could not address your spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it, and even now you are not yet ready. For you are still of the flesh, for while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not being morally human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted Apollos, I planted Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive the wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, God's building. So here Paul is talking about division, right? And just to summarize what he's saying, People shouldn't be saying, hey, I follow this person, I follow this person, I follow that person. No, no one should be saying that because at the end of the day, right, we are all God's people. We are all united, right, in Christ. We are all united in Christ, right? And also, like, regardless of what denomination we come from, right, As long as you are teaching biblical truth, right? You're not teaching anything that is contrary to the word of God or what Jesus taught. Then you are good. But if you're teaching something that is contrary, then you are teaching false. And that's what Xin Chenji is doing and Sei Chenji is doing. Number one, they are both teaching false. Because the Bible says there is no one under heaven that which well we we must be saved the Acts four twelve. We do not need to be saved by going to a specific person or by going to a specific church. The only way that we can be saved and receive eternal life is through Jesus Christ. And with that being said, once we know that there is no need to be divided Because we are all working together. We are all one body in Christ. So at the end of the day, Xin Chenji and Sik Chenji is teaching false, regardless if, you know, they're divided or not. Um, The only person that you need to go to is Jesus. He is the only one that can save you and can give you eternal life. Um... And yeah, and he sent the Holy Spirit to guide you, to help you, um, to help you understand the word, to help you understand what it means to live for Christ. Um, but with that being said, let me know your comments on this. Um, say Chenji, if you have more information, definitely let us know in the comment section below, or you can privately message me and we can talk. Um, and yeah, that is what I have for this video. Stay tuned for John the Baptist video that is coming up soon. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.